Hey everyone, I hope you're well. This is a bit of a random one. I'm just feeling called to do it for some reason. Um, this is going to be for all signs. Pre-recorded all signs. Um, for love. So a little quick one, see what's coming out, see what's coming towards you. It's going to be for December or whenever you happen to catch it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. So I think let's just do like one card for each. You know, there's almost a message for the collective here. There's like something is happening very fast. There's like decisions being made. And I think once the decisions are being have been made, like people are going to start moving very quickly. So I'm just going to pull one card for each sign. Aries, and I don't read them in reverse, remember, so if you've been here before. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Cap, Aqua Babies, and Pythes. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's like offers coming in here, new offers. Just gonna do one of these cards as well. Yeah, you have I miss you. For those of you in separation, like you mean a lot more to this person than you think you do. <clears throat> it's definitely like a lot of letting go of things from the past. pedestal okay right Aries so Aries you have the Queen of Wands and you have you are my everything okay whoever this person is like whether this is someone new or someone you've yet to meet this person is going to be very intimidated by you very quickly okay um, you give off an energy of being very um, like going for you know just going for it you know queen of wands is like very ambitious she always has her mindset on some kind of dream um very independent very popular you know very confident very kind of happy energy to be around very warm definitely a people person um you know fiercely independent you know often like an entrepreneur of some kind did i move that i think it was like that um so this person's kind of um, a little intimidated by you, like a little in awe of you, you know. But I think that's really what they like about you. They really love that about you. That you are so fiery and independent and you've always got something going on and you're like so driven. I think they really love that about you. They're also very aware though that you've kind of been hurt in the past. You know, maybe you've had to kind of stand on your own two feet a lot you know because you've had a lot of responsibilities or maybe like um they're putting that dolly parton song in my head you know where she talks about like i'm not an angel i'm just the victim of a man that let me down or a woman that let me down you know so it's like you've had to be extra strong um but yeah this person just they're gonna love you Aries. they're gonna really love you <laughs> They just think you're wonderful. Also, they think you're very, very hot. Very, very attractive, very sexy, very hot. But they just love everything about you. They love your fire. 
Um, Taurus, you have the Queen of Cups and you have, you changed the way I think. I'm just going to move these out of the way so I don't get confused. Okay, Taurus, so this person sees you with the Queen of Cups um, as being very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. Um, maybe very empathic, very intuitive, very kind, very compassionate. They know that you have been hurt in the past, but like, you know, you've learned not, you're like, you're not, it hasn't made you bitter, you know, it's just that now you know how to attract healthy relationships, you know, you've learned your lessons and now it's like you teach other people and you have, you change the way I think here. So it's like, there's something to do with the way that you approach this person, like your compassion for this person is because I feel you managed to draw them out of the darkness somehow. Like I feel maybe when you met this person or when you do meet them, they might be in something of a dark place, um, maybe even a dark night of the soul, but it's like something to do with your compassion and how kind and sweet you are and how loving and giving, but also you have good boundaries. You know, there's that, so the wonderful thing about the Queen of Cups is like she has that awesome balance. So it's like, I think you've really shown this person how to live their life. Like it's okay to be kind and compassionate, but have freaking boundaries, you know, so you don't get hurt, but you don't have to be closed off to the world completely. You know, you can have both. And also with the Queen of Cups, this is um, wanting to move this into the next phase of the relationship. That's not focused. There we go. This is wanting to move things into the next phase of the relationship, you know. Beautiful. Uh, who's next? Gemini, let yourself be loved again. And the Six of Wands, okay. So, I feel this is your person. Um, this person, again, you know, I want to say you're dealing with someone here who's been hurt, right? Take this for yourself as well if it resonates, but I really feel like you're dealing with someone who has been hurt. But with the Six of Wands here, this person has picked themselves up, dusted themselves off, and is coming towards you. You know, they have. There's victory here over adversity with this person. This is also delayed news, so it looks like this is someone you've been waiting for for a while. But it's a victory. You know, this person has decided that like the things that affected them in the past are not going to rule their future. You know what I mean? They've, like I said, they've picked themselves off, they've dusted themselves off, if I can talk. And they're ready to do this with you, you know, six of wands. They're moving away from like, because obviously the preceding card to the, the six is the five of wands, which is all, uh, you know, conflict and like things being up in the air and like trying to ground your emotions, you know, and trying to ground your thoughts. But they've done that now and now they're moving towards you. So you can expect communication from this person. Um, you know, Six of Wands energy, this is somebody very dynamic. This person could be a leader of some kind. You know, they might run a, they might be a manager or they might run a team or their own business or something. Um, they could be a fire sign because the thing is with the Six of Wands, they're very well liked. Whoever this person is, they're very well liked. They're very popular. And it's because you know, they're a fair person, like they're successful in themselves, but they're not arrogant. You know, they're just, um, <clears throat> they're just kind of dynamic. It's just a dynamic, like popular person, you know, you guys are going to get along very well together. And they're coming. Cancer, you have money, legal problems, and you have the wheel of fortune. So, um... I actually just did your, your messages from your person reading, which is kind of a similar energy. So money, legal problems, and the wheel of fortune. So there's something here about divine timing with this person. Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This person sees this as fated. Like they see this connection with you as fated. Like they were supposed to meet you. And I feel it's like, 
they've been get they've been feeling that more and more over time. You know, it ha the feeling hasn't gone away. But there's something about divine timing. With money and legal problems, they could physically, because it came up in your reading, they could physically have money problems that they're trying to balance. Um, legal problems as well. They could be going through a divorce or like a separation from a person. Like there could be something here they're trying to figure out like division of the assets or like a divorce or something like this. Or they're legally responsible, legally, like they could be... Um, responsible like tied in with someone else and I feel there's something here they have some things to sort out before they can move towards you is what I feel with this person but I feel it will move suddenly with the wheel of fortune because this is something the wheel of fortune indicates a sudden change it indicates things moving forward suddenly you know so I feel like there's going to be like I said at the start of the reading, like there's going to be, like at the start of the main readings, um, it's like things are going to happen suddenly, like once this person makes the decision, it's going to be like all systems go. Um, Leo, yeah, you have I miss you. And you have strength. So they miss their Leo. They miss their Leo. You could also be dealing with another Leo. But this person, and this came up in your reading too, um, there's an element of self-mastery with this person. They've taken some time out to kind of level up here. Because they really see you as someone freaking awesome. <laughs> this person really has a lot of love for you, a lot of respect. Um, they just think that you have everything. So it's like they've taken some time to kind of level up. You know, and part of that is money, but part of it is like they've been learning to find their internal strength again because I feel somebody took it from them. So they've been like learning to ground themselves, learning to, um, yeah, find their inner strength from like a place of stability, you know, and not, I feel like they really miss you. But they've deliberately not rushed into this with you because they want this to work. They really want it to work with you. They want it to come from a strong foundation of like where um, both of you know where you stand. You know it's built on something very solid. There's like solid communication. Neither one of you have rushed into it. It's not, you know, it's not based on like lower desires. You know what I mean? This is based on something that's been very solidly thought out. So I feel like that's what's going on with your person. But they really miss you, Leo. Uh, Virgo. You have let me love you. <laughs> and you have the six of pentacles. So whoever this person is, Virgo, they are very, very willing to give to you. You know, this person is a giver. You may not have been dealing with givers in your past. I don't know, I suspect not, because it's always with the Virgos of you guys giving, 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 right? This person just wants to love you. They just want you to let them in and, you know, let let them love you, basically, because they just want to give to you, you know? Um, this is going to be a very equal relationship. I would say, actually, maybe at the start, this person will give a little more than you, or they'll try to. Whether or not you actually let them is another matter. But this person is very, very giving. They could be your boss. Um, they could be a customer or something like that, wherever you work. They could be your accountant or something like that. But um, yeah, very, very giving, very generous person. And they want to give to you. They want to give to you. Because I think they see your really sweet nature and they're just like, no, <laughs> stop taking advantage of my Virgo, you know. I want to make Virgo happy. Um, Libra, you have leveling up for you and you have the page of pentacles. So this person has been taking some time here um, to kind of, I feel like fix things about themselves maybe that they are not happy with, whatever that means. Maybe it's money, um, maybe it's like self-esteem or something like this. Page of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with a younger earth sign. 
you could be dealing with someone who has not dated for a while. Maybe this person doesn't date very often. Uh, maybe they're a little shy, you know. You could meet this person at school. You could meet them if you started a new hobby. Um, or like a new job, you know, is when you could meet this person. They could be a student of yours. Page of Pentacles is a student card. Uh, but this person is very, very sweet, you know. They just, um, they basically just want to give you their pentacle, Libra. You know, they're, they're very innocent, um, very pure energy. I do feel there's a little energy with this Page of Pentacles, like, um, please don't squash my pentacle. <laughs> like, I don't give my pentacle away to many people. Please don't squash it. Please be nice to me. <laughs> but um, I think they've taken some time here. They've been learning as well. You know, they've been learning about themselves or they've been learning what it is they need in a relationship or they've been learning maybe more negative aspects of themselves that they needed to balance before you guys got together. But very, very sweet energy. And, you know, I'm just noticing they've kind of... Oh, you guys are getting a bit extra. Um, I'm just noticing they drew my attention to the pentacle at the bottom of the deck. So they want a new, they want to offer you a new life, basically. There's a lot of love here, Libra, with this person. And they, if you let them, they would move this fast. Um, Scorpio, okay, Scorpio, you have love yourself first. And you have the Queen of Swords. So let me just move these guys up. A card oh my god um so you could be dealing with an air sign gemini a libra or aquarius um okay this person has some self-esteem issues is what i would say with love yourself first they've definitely been through it queen of swords energy they've definitely been through it this person could be a teacher they could be a youtuber they could be a writer uh they could be a counsellor, lots of things. Queen of Swords is very, very good at talking. Um, Queen of Swords delivers information from the ether in some way via some kind of text. But I, I feel they've really been through something that's kind of got their back up, you know. So they're a little defensive Scorpio, whoever this person is. Um, and I think they have to learn to love themselves first before they get into this relationship with you, okay? Because they've obviously been through something that has kind of scarred them, right? Because that's the energy of the Queen of Swords, you know? But love yourself first means that something will happen after that, right? So I think this person is just, they're just kind of still smarting a little bit from whatever this was. It might take them a little while, Scorpio, to let their guard down, let their walls down, okay? bless them. Uh, Sagittarius, you have someone new coming in because I feel, because um, I just did a bonus reading for you guys and this is kind of what came out. You have, there's someone else and you have the nine of wands. So I feel like there's, the universe is about to bring someone new into your life. So I feel like there's someone that you are focused on at the moment, or maybe it's someone from your past. That you're kind of wondering like is it going to work out with this person i don't know but i feel like they're bringing someone new in and you're a wounded warrior you've been through it <laughs> with the nine of wands you know like you've definitely been through it but you're not ready to give up you know you're not giving up on love and you're going to be rewarded for not giving up you know when this person comes in it might take them a little while to get past your defenses because you have been hurt, okay? But one more round, right? I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> one more round, one more round. Um, so yeah, when this person comes in, you know, you might be a little sus, but they're gonna get past your defenses. And uh, you know, I feel like this new person's gonna rock your world. When they say there's someone else, like this, this means they've brought, they've brought, they are bringing you someone else. You know what I mean? It's like a God given, there, <laughs> there's your person from the universe. You know what I mean? Okay. Capricorn, you have commitment issues and temperance. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. 
with the uh, temperance card here. Is that focused? There we go. I don't know why my camera has a bitch fit sometimes. So you could be dealing with someone that had commitment issues in the past, Capricorn. Um, you might have been waiting for this person for a while. If they have commitment issues, it is because something ended in their past, because the temperance card comes after an ending, right? Um, and it's like they've taken some time to kind of get back on their feet, kind of learn how to balance themselves, fill their own cup, right? But they've done that now with the temperance card, okay? This is someone, yeah, there's still a little, there's still a little commitment issue there, okay? But it's not because they're a player, it's because something ended. So they've been a little reticent to get into a new relationship with someone because of this ending in their past, but they have balanced themselves now, okay? They're in the process of um, balancing, balancing themselves, getting ready. And this is a reconciliation card. So you're gonna, this is reuniting with someone from the past, someone you already know, is what I would say. Um, it's like the person you've been waiting for, is what I want to say. Um, Aquarius, you have the others were just a warm-up. And you have the two of wands. So some of you guys might be traveling, you might be thinking about moving somewhere else. Um, looks like you have somebody new coming in when it has the others were just a warm-up could be someone new it's the one though basically whenever you have this card the others were just a warm-up the, the one basically the one is coming in here i feel like you have to make a decision actually with the two of, uh, two of Wands here, and they're just drawing my attention to this Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. I feel like you're going to meet someone new, and I feel like at the same time, someone from your past might show up, and you have to decide. I feel like there's a decision here. This new person might live kind of far away or something, like, they might live across a river or across a body of water. Or one of them. One of them might live kind of far away. Someone's going to offer you something, I think, that would involve you maybe traveling or moving to somewhere else permanently or something like that. You're going to end up with the one, though. Don't be worrying about who it is or who you're supposed to be with because you're gonna end up with the right one, okay? I just feel like there's a couple of people, I feel like you're about to meet somebody new, and I feel like it draws the energy of your old person back. Oh, Pisces, weird. You have a yes. And you have the nine of swords. So I would say this is like a yes, stop worrying. This could either be you or your person, one of you is a chronic overthinker and a chronic warrior with the Nine of Swords here. But they're telling you like, you don't have to worry because it's a yes. Like this thing that you're worrying about, you're worrying about something. But they're saying you don't have to worry because it's, it's a yes. Whatever you're worrying about is a yes. Yeah, look at this, you have a soulmate coming towards you. I'm just gonna take those two. Um, yeah, you have a soulmate coming towards you with the lover's card here. It could be a Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. There could also be a choice here, like maybe um, you're worrying about whether or not this person will pick you, because with the lovers that's a choice. They're, they're saying like this person will pick you, so you know, stop worrying. But yeah, this, the lovers is like a soulmate energy, it's a true love card. Uh, like the one that you're supposed to be with. You have the Justice card at the bottom of the deck here. So it's like a karmic, you know, it's like um, someone that you're supposed to be with. Um, in this lifetime, basically. Not a bad karmic, like a good karmic, you know. 
Um, not a dharma, because that's something different. Um, but yeah, like, it's like a good karmic, you know what I mean? The one, it's like you learned your crap lessons, <laughs> and now, like, here comes the good karma. You know what I mean? Like, the good stuff. So yeah, stop worrying, Pisces, because you got a soulmate coming in here. Your true love. Your true love. And if you're trying to make a decision about something, the answer is yes. Whatever that means. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to leave it there, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the readings. It was a pleasure to do the readings. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care and uh, lots of love.